Welcome back to another video on Third Dog Through My Eyes. About 10,000 years ago, humans began farming in the most rudimentary fashion. Sowing the seeds, irrigation by watering the plants and finally cultivating them. But in the past few decades, we humans have revolutionized and made several better methods of this farming. The topic of today's video, vertical farming, is one such video. Let's dive right into it. Vertical farming is the soilless procedure of growing crops in neatly stacked rows exposed to artificial light. Though vertical farming needs impeccable care and nutrition, it may be the solution to the world's hunger problem. Because in the right media, crops can grow nearly two to three times faster. As I said before, this can easily solve the world's hunger problem. This is why many countries and governments across the entire world have adopted vertical farming. The countries which have adopted vertical farming include USA, Japan, China and more. There are many more benefits of vertical farming, including the minimal water usage, absence of insecticides, pesticides and other harmful uh, chemicals, the benefit to the environment and the fact that you can grow these crops anywhere in the world despite the weather conditions since it's indoors. There are three main types of vertical farming. Those include hydroponics, aeroponics and aquaponics. Let's look at these three separate types individually. Hydroponics is the method of growing plants in a nutrient dissolved in water. Hydroponics isn't exactly a recent discovery. It was first used rather crudely in one of the original seven wonders of the world, the Hanging Gardens of Babylon in Iraq. This method was inspired by the Hanging Gardens and was perfected by scientists recently. This method produces crops nearly two times faster, but the result is much healthier. This method is also rather hard to do and there's a very high chance of contamination if not done perfectly. Number two, aquaponics. Now, I'm sure most of you know that aquaculture is the scientific term for cultivating seafood. And we just learned about hydroponics. So what happens when you combine both of these? Basically, the plants grown by hydroponics are watered with water with certain kinds of fish swum in them using aquaculture. This water so nutrients are very high and this water is used to grow the hydroponically grown plants. This method again wasn't really discovered recently and Aztec farmers actually used this in Mexico several hundred years ago. Finally, number three, aeroponics. Aeroponics might just be the best method of all these three. Aeroponics is basically elevating a plant by its shoot and exposing its roots down below. This method is theoretically simple but requires a lot of care. The roots hanging down below are exposed to a fine layer of mist. This mist is a special solution of water and when this mist touches the roots, it saves about 98% of water as the mist is much more effective. The plants this way grow three times faster and saves 90% of space. All these three methods are very fascinating. Which method do you think was most incredible? Be sure to let me know in the comment section down below. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe.